Alright guys, how you doing today? I thought I'd swing by, break the normal routine of PowerPoint videos or C++ videos, and I'd put out a really helpful uh, word uh, tip for some of you. Uh, somebody in the office the other day was scrolling through, I guess there was something in a document that they were working on, and various portions of this document were highlighted. Okay, so they were going through, they were unhighlighting every portion of the document by selecting it and unhighlighting it and everything like that. And that's really not the most efficient way to do things, especially if you have a uh, long document. Uh, the document I have here is uh, 13 pages. Uh, it's all junk text, but that's okay. We can use this as an example. We can build from this. Okay. So if you look through here, I got a whole paragraph highlighted. Uh, I got a whole... I got a couple lines highlighted, not necessarily the whole paragraph. I got, let's see, what else do I got here? I selected a couple various things. There we go. I got one word selected there. I've got a word selected there. So, you know, everything's highlighted, right? I've even got um, one letter highlighted in some words, two letters highlighted. Now, there's again, just an eclectic uh, group of highlighted text. So we can see how this works. Now, what you do not want to do, let me say that again, what you do not want to do is you do not want to do the following. Click replace or control H, however you get into it. Let me drag that over here. Sorry, I got two monitors. There we go. And find what? Well, blech. Let's, let's not do that. Yeah, let's find highlight and format highlight. We don't want to do that. Okay, because here's what's going to happen. Actually, let me pull this out of here. There we go. Let me close out of this. Let me reset that because that's when I was working before on this. Place there we go. And can I clear that? Well, what you don't want to do is you don't want to sit there and you don't want to do it this way either. Because format, highlight, replace with highlight. It's not going to work because what's going to happen is, find next, it finds the next portion of your document that's highlighted. Let me move this window over here a little bit. This will be a good example too. There we go. And replace. Well, it didn't really replace it, did it? Of course, that's at the end of my document. Yes, whatever. Just finish searching. Okay, cool. So, it replaces the highlight with the highlight. Well, that doesn't really do you any good, does it? Uh, replace with, uh, what if I were to say no formatting? How would that work? Right? So, I don't want to, let me cancel out of this. I think the reason it worked is because I just had that selected. Let me go back to the top of my document with Control Home. Control H brings up the Find and Replace dialog box. Really helpful thing to know. What happens if I click Find Next here? Look, it finds the highlighted portion of my text. Now, if I click Replace, watch what happens. There we go. And I'm going to go back up to page 2, because I knew that was on page 2. See, it took the text out. It replaced it with nothing. Take out the highlighted text, replace it with nothing. It doesn't take the highlight out for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of my Find and Replace dialog box. I'm going to undo that previous action by pressing Control z I'm going to go back up to the top of my document by pressing Control Home. Now, here's the first thing you have to do if you want to unhighlight the text in a document by using the Find and Replace dialog box. You go up to your highlighter, you pick the color you want to replace. I want to replace it with no color. Alright, now when I press Control H to bring up the Find and Replace dialog box, I'm going to say Find what? Find Highlight. Replace with, replace with what? Replace with the current highlighter color, which is none. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do it like that. I, want, I still want the find to be highlight. I just had to be down in the replace box here. There we go. Replace with highlight. And if you don't see this uh, area down here in your find and replace dialog box, Click the button labeled More and it drops all this down for you. It's really kind of cool to get familiar with this area of it. So I'm going to find something that's highlighted and I'm going to replace it with my current highlighter color. I'm going to click the less just to make this a little bit more neater. Uh, more neater, is that actually a word? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to click Find Next. 
There we go. Somebody tell me in the comment section if more neater is, a, is an actual legitimate grammatically correct phrase. I'm going to click replace. There we go. And if I go back up to page two, right here, there we go, I can see that my text is still there. It's just not highlighted anymore. So I can click find next, replace, 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 replace. <clears throat> I could have just clicked replace all and been done with it. There you go. I think I skipped one earlier on in the document. That's fine. But it beats having to scroll through a big document, look for little things that are highlighted, and just use find and replace. You just got to remember to change your highlighter color first. And the way you do that is you click the arrow beside the highlighter. You pick the color you want. So if I had something, let's say I had something here, right? Uh, maybe I'm redacting things from a document, right? And I'm going to go through and highlight what I want to redact first so I can review it, okay? So I want to redact that paragraph, and I want to redact this little bit here, you know, and so on and so forth. We can go down a couple pages, too, if I want to. And here we go. I want to redact this whole stinking third of a page here, right? I don't want to see it. Maybe I work for the CIA or something like that. Who knows? All right. So I'm going to highlight this. So I can review my document. I can make sure that what's redacted is what I want to redact. Something I do not want to redact is not going to be redacted. Then what I can do is I can select the black color here. There we go. Control H to bring up find and replace. Find what? Replace with what? Highlight. Okay, cool. Let's see if this works. Find next. Okay. Replace. Replace. Hey, looky there. Replace. 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 Well, that's pretty cool, huh? Now I can print out the document. The redacted text is uh, is redacted from uh, from the document. All right. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Make your job in um, Office just a little bit easier because sometimes Word can be a little bit of a of a bear of things. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching my video.